Hello guys and fellow developers. Welcome to this wonderful course that we're about to create. My name is Raphael and then I'm going to be your guide in this course. Okay. So here we have uh, three emulators running. Let's just look at the, let's take a quick look at the demo of what we are going to create at the end of this course. Okay. So this demo and the coding is done on the windows but this application also works on mac and then uh, we can also test it on ios device it also works on the ios simulator as well okay so i've tested this on the mac and both on windows because uh, i was coding it on the mac and windows but for this course we are going to do the entire coding on windows okay so without wasting much time let's have a look of what we are going to do all right so this is going to be the home screen like uh, the chat page like you can see this is chat so this user has spoken to this one and this one so this one is set to the dark theme so that you can see that this application will also add a dark theme okay so here in the chat screen you can see that we can get to inside this chat where we are talking to one of these guys so this is is this one who is fury if you get inside here you can see that this one was chatting with this one okay now right here this user can even send another message like hello let's say hello again so let's send that message you can see that this user is also receiving that message all right so this was chatting and then if you get back you can see that the last message is there all right now uh, the other thing is that also this user you can see that they were chatting with this one this is the last message that they had and then uh, if we go so this is going to be the one-to-one -one chat and then you can go to this user's profile you can see his profile from here you can check the list of friends that he has which is uh, this one and this one and then from here you can see your about me you can change the profile image you can update all this information then you can also update the account settings here is where you change the theme you can also log out and then back here now you can also go to the groups so you can see that we have private groups and then public group we're going to create all this so we have one group or is a private group here so in this group if we get inside here we are there's two members which is uh, this member and the other one so if this member here uh, this user goes to the group here go come here on the group chats here you can see that he doesn't have any private group because this group is private but this one when he comes here he's in the private group with this one okay that's why they can see that group okay and, and then here he, the chatting is is just the same and then also there is a feature of the chatting there is a reaction in our chat application you can wrong press here then this reaction pops up and then you can just react to any message you can see that okay so also there is a reply feature you can swipe this to reply so you can see that we are replying like that and then we can reply to this message so here we can say test reply or let's just say replying then we can send that message you can see that we have replied to this message and then since this one is not in the group they can see that they have one unread message and then when they get inside here they can see this message now the replied message okay now here in the group so also when you wrong press you can copy the message to clipboard and then you can also delete this message okay so when you click on the plus here for more reactions you can click and then the the emoji uh, keyboard comes up and then you can just uh, also react with any of this emoji all right 
next you can also check the group settings here you can see that you can see the members who are in the group you can leave the group you can go to media and see the media shared between the group you can also change this group to if you're an admin you can switch this group to change it to uh, public if you want okay and then you can also remove members from the group and then you can also add members when you click here it's going to bring up all the members then you can search uh, all the users of the application you can search and then add the members to the group and then you can also go to the group settings and then change all these settings uh, depending on what settings you want and then you can go ahead and assign admin rights all this functionality we will create from the scratch so let's come out of the groups then we can come out there and then we can go to public group so this is another public group that we created you can get inside here then in this group we have all three members so even this one when it goes to public is going to see that group even this one is going to see that group they can get in in this group so there is no any message whoever can send the first message we can we can check here okay so let's send the first message here both of these are going to receive that uh, this send has sent a message okay sweet so here you can see that this is your message and then these users have received so even in this public group you can go to the group settings here you can see who's in the group who who is the admin so this is a this one is an admin that's why they have access to change the group so if the other person gets inside there who's not an admin they cannot change here they cannot go to the settings they cannot also remove group members okay so that's that's a group so we're going to create all these functions and then also you can create a group like this once you are in the group uh, i mean on the groups uh, group screen here you can just simply click here then here you can create a group either a public or private or public you can select the group image if you click here you're going to be prompted and then you can pick a group name group description and then you can put the settings for the group if you go to the group settings you can pick what settings you want to put for the groups okay so once you create all that and then you can just create the group all these functions we will create from scratch okay so now next you can go to people and then check all the people of this application okay all the available people in the application and then you can just click to one of them if you want them to be your friend you can just send a friend request okay so you have sent a friend request to this user who is going to receive it once they receive your your friend request they are going to be given an option to accept it in their profile and then when you come here they are going to be under your friend list here okay so all these guys we will create from this from scratch all right so there is a lot of function in this application in the end we'll put notification uh, firebase firestore rules so there is just a lot that uh, we are going to create in this application there's a lot of uh, modern features that we will, we will add so i can just go on and on just talking about all the functions that uh, we're going to learn here all the methods and all and i hope that you guys will also learn some new packages that uh, you don't know uh, from here and uh, i'm really glad that if you're going to join me on this journey so that we learn together and uh, see what we're going to learn here okay so this is uh, was just a short demonstration of the application otherwise there is just more we can just go on and go on to uh, to talk about the functions so thank you for visiting this course and uh, what are you waiting for let's just uh, start building this application